In this video, we're going to look at all the different ways we can have a stereo setup on the Headrush pedal board. Hey guys, I'm Dr. McFarland and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe down below and click the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I release new content. And today I want to look at all the different ways we can set up a stereo rig. And there's a few different ways that I just learned about myself and I want to share those with you. So let's go ahead and first of all, let's just bring in a simple amp and cab setup. And I want you to notice something. Underneath the amp and the cab, we have a 2X. All right. What you can do with that is if you tap it, it's going to add a second amp head. And same thing goes for the cab, all right? So let's just mess with the amps first. And I do have this set up, uh, the outputs going into my PreSonus Studio Live board. Then I'm sending out two channels from the XLR outputs. So you're gonna hear a true stereo signal if you're listening on headphones or in front of your studio monitors or just a good stereo you know, rig set up, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn down the master volume on one and we should be able to hear this m2 lead cap coming out of the right speaker all right so check this out Now we're still kind of hearing the other amp a little bit. So let me turn down this one and then, then turn the fender back up. All right. So now we should be able to hear the fender coming out of the left speaker. All right. So let's bring up the volume of our Mesa Boogie once again. And now we're gonna hear both amps, one in left and one in right. All right, very cool sound. So just by hitting the two times area underneath the amp, you can automatically make your rig stereo. So that's pretty cool. Let's do the same thing with our cab. Um, let's make one cab be like a AC blue with a MD421 off axis. Okay, let's go ahead and turn down the output of one of them. So we're gonna hear the AC blue on the left now. And since it's on the left, that's being connected to the Fender amp that's also on the left. And let's actually change something here. Let's change to a 4x12 on the right. Let's do an SM57 on axis. And we'll turn the gain back up here. And we'll turn down the AC blue. So now we're just going to hear the 4x12 on the right side of the speaker. So that's a pretty cool sound. Um, let's turn back up the AC blue, and now we're going to hear both amps and both cabs in stereo. All right, that's pretty fun. Now, what happens if we add? Let's do a tape echo. No, sorry, we're gonna do a dine delay. We're gonna do a default stereo. All right, so check this out. 
So now you hear the delay is going back and forth. All right, pretty cool. Now what happens if we take the 2X off? Are we still gonna get, you know, stereo delay? I think we are, so. So now you got an amp going right down the middle, but the stereo delay is going side to side. So it's just a different sound. All right, what happens if we add a little bit of reverb? All right, so here's a preset called Doc Church. Cool, that sounds great. All right, now, so that's the first kind of setup we can do. The second kind, stereo two, we're now gonna mess around with the signal flow switch down here. So we can see that we have four blocks split at the front and then we got three blocks at the end. So four plus four is eight and then another three is 11 and we got 11 rack, so that's why we have 11 blocks. Maybe in the future update, we can have, we can create our own uh, split signals. We can define those however we want, but for now we have three different kinds that they've kind of given us free reign to do whatever we want with. So we got, the first one is all in line. So the signal starts right here, and we go in across, and then we drop down, then we go across this way, okay? The next one, we have three blocks, then we have three and three that split, then we have two at the end. So even with the signal split, you still have a two times the amp or the cab. So you can get really nuts pretty fast here. So let's just say for instance, we're gonna add an amp up here and we're gonna two times that then we got two times this amp. I'm gonna move these over here. And we're gonna add in a cab, because why not? And we're gonna two times that. <laughs> so you can get really nuts really fast, so. So I don't know why you'd want to have two amps and two amps and two cabs and two cabs, like four different amps in a rig. But, you know, if you want a certain sound on the left and a certain sound on the right, you can totally get that. So let's change this lead cap mod thing to a Soldano, um Clean. Let's do that. This one's cranked up all the way. Okay. Now in the middle here, we have the mix. So we can pan, we can, we can adjust the levels, we can adjust the pan. So we can have a pan, you know, hard left, hard right. We can adjust the level up and down. I'm not quite sure with the AB delay, there's like a little phase kind of thing going on there. Um, I hadn't quite figured that one out yet, but it's, it does something, so. Let's adjust mix A.
Let's add our delay over here. Let's put it on tails. And let's put it on sync. Turn with the feedback. Cool. That is fun. All right, so that's kind of, so there's that style. And then you can do a four across and a four across. All right. So we're probably going to want to do something like this. Because it's weird to have all the amps on one side and all the cabs on the other. Let's try it. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't work. You have to have something going on. So it's very similar to the split before, except now we just have it at the beginning and we can have maybe, uh, maybe you want a certain EQ at the end of this, right? We can do graphic EQ brighter and we can add in like a, like a pair of EQ kind of thing. Let's say for fun that we want to add in a auto swell, which is under dynamics. Hello, Nathan, where are you at? Um, so now the left side is going to swell in, but the right side is going to come in right away. So. Or should be able to. We can adjust the mix of that. All right, so all kinds of different stuff you can do with that. So those are the ways that I know how to make stereo rigs and uh, there's all kinds of different stuff you can do with this. Um, sometimes it's cool to have a volume pedal on one side. So if you wanted to have this down, so you're only hearing the left. And you can sneak in the right side. kind of stuff really the sky's the limit so just have fun with that do with it as you wish and um let me know down in the comment section what style of signal flow that you like working with and uh maybe it'll inspire some other people to try a different thing so i am dr mcfarland i will see you in the next video keep rocking so if you want to see great content all in one place, be sure to check out DrMcFarlandStudios.com. Keep rocking.